geht so. <lacht> hey guys, welcome or welcome back. So, in today's video, it's probably gonna be like the biggest tutorial I've like ever done. Because today I'm gonna be showing you how to start a YouTube channel and how to start a successful Horse Valley YouTube channel. So basically, I'm just gonna be showing you how to make a YouTube channel, how to like sign into YouTube, everything like that, and then I'll like give tips on how to start it and what you need to start it. Um, a lot of you actually want this, but sorry if I sound a little different. I don't know if I do or not. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of like sick. Allergies are so bad right now, so just don't mind if I have voice cracks or whatever. We're just not gonna, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, we're so close to 400 subs. That's crazy. So keep going, I guess. Um, but most of this video, I will not be in Horse Valley. Um, but I'm just gonna start, I guess. Um, but first, I want to show you how to make a YouTube channel. So. Let's go do that. Okay, so I'm on YouTube. I may have to blur, like, some of this out, um, because I don't want to share, like, any personal info or anything, so don't mind that. But I'm on YouTube on this page. Um, I'm going to sign out real quick. Okay, so now I'm signed out. Um, you, I would recommend getting the YouTube app instead of like going in safari and searching it but like to know that you're signed out you should do it you should see this there should be no pro profile picture anything it should just be blank and you want to of course sign in to actually make a channel so i'm just going to blur this out so you want to press add account and then you want to sign in with google so if you don't have an email um like maybe make one or something because you will definitely need one and i'm just gonna create um a google account so we're gonna do that and you want to put for myself and then you put your first name and last name um i'm just gonna do something like random i don't know random name let's just go like jewel let's just do Jewel Washington. Yeah, that's my fake name, everyone. <laughs> so, go ahead and put your birthday. I'm just going to put random birthday. Um, I, that, not that. Uh, we're just going to put that. Um, that's not the year I was born, but we're just going to do that. Put, um, whatever you want here. I'm a female. Uh, if you guys didn't know that. And then you can choose your Gmail address. So just like pick what one that you can remember or you can just create one. I'm going to go with the first one. But if you don't like the, any of the top two, you can just create one. Um, put whatever password you want. I'm just going to put the suggested password. I'm just doing this. It's random. And I'm probably going to delete this afterwards anyway. Um, I'm not going to save it. Um, it's totally optional to put your phone number. You don't have to. So I'm just going to press skip this part and um, just keep on going next, I guess. And breathe through that and then confirm. And there you go. You're signed into YouTube. And as you see, if you press on your profile, there's a your channel um, and you can customize. You can now customize your channel. So, you can, like, go ahead and pick a profile picture, pressing it, and you can take a photo or choose from your photos. Um, you can change the name, and then the handle is, like, your username. So, I guess I could make this, like, go Horse Valley. Um, Horse Valley dot edits. I probably won't use this account, but we're just going to do that. And it says it isn't available, so, like, I'm just going to keep on going. There we go. And then my name... You can do whatever you want. You can do like emojis. I'm just gonna do Horse Valley. Okay, and then you can, you guys can do whatever profile picture you want. So yeah, and then you just press create channel. And you just wanna refresh. And then there you go, you have your YouTube channel. 
and you can start you if you want to customize more the press on this um pencil and then you can do like your order for like and then your profile picture of course and then you can add a description of whatever you want but yeah now you have a youtube channel so um you should probably start posting content okay so once you have the channel profile set up um this is where you start posting any content you want so now we're gonna go ahead and show you all the apps i use and how it helped me grow my YouTube channel, so let's go. Okay, so I have like a YouTube folder with all the apps that I use. Um, so of course I have YouTube app, YouTube Studio, and TubeBuddy. So yeah, I'm gonna show you YouTube Studio. And also, I have to voice over this because the audio corrupted, so don't mind if it like sounds weird. But anyways, so YouTube Studio is like an app where it shows more detail and it's really easy to sign in because I'm obviously too lazy to like sign out and sign back in. But it's really easy to sign in. It's connected to YouTube, so it's totally trustworthy. Um, it shows you your views and your watch hours and all your new content. I just posted an edit. Um, so yeah, but it also shows like the comments and stuff, like new comments that you haven't seen yet or replied to. But yeah, it gives you, like, more detail, and it has, like, all these things at the bottom, where it's, like, analytics, and get more further information, um, so, like, the top content, like, all your views, and real time, I'm not sure what that is, but, you know, we're just gonna keep on going, um, <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a lot of the bars at the top, so there's content, which just gives you more information, about your content and yeah so it has like all these different bars you might not understand some of them at first but i don't even understand some of them but it makes more sense also gives you like the top searches so you know what to post and what will go viral um but yeah basically just what everyone searches like i would post horse valley um, TikTok edits, which I do, <laughs> but they're mine, which I don't post on TikTok, but that's fine. But yeah, basically, just, like, more on your YouTube channel that YouTube doesn't give you, just more detailed stuff. But yeah, that's YouTube Studio for ya. Okay, so the last, like, big app I use, um, to help with me with YouTube is TubeBuddy. It's, like, pretty similar to YouTube Studio. It shows your videos with the total amount of views and like your subscriber count. It's kind of the same, um, but I use it like in different ways. But like I said with YouTube Shoot Studio, it also so shows your comments. Um, it also shows your milestones, which is really fun. Um, so it shows like your milestones and uh, what you've accomplished and what you're still working on. Like I've Almost have 400 subscribers, almost have 50,000 views, and almost have 50 uploads, which is crazy. And it's also crazy that I had 210 subs um, only two weeks ago, and, and I almost have 400. Like, what? <laughs> but that's also really cool. It also has, like, YouTube news, which I don't really look out, but you guys might want to. Um, but it seems pretty cool. And then the menu is basically just, like, where you can switch accounts. <laughs> okay. But the cool thing about TubeBuddy is that it shows you how, like, how your video can get viral and if it will get viral. So you want to make sure you have a lot of check marks. Like, that's, like, your highs and lows of how you're going to get viral and just, like, how it's going to do. I have a few, um, like, caution signs, which it means it might not do as well. Um, but maybe don't listen to those because it doesn't really work. Um, but yeah, these are some of the tags I use, like Roblox Edit, Shorts, and 300 Subs. Um, but I also use a lot of other hashtags like Horse, Horses at Question, Horse Valley, all that stuff. I don't use the promo materials, and it also has video analytics. Um, but yeah, that's also, um, really cool. <laughs> But yeah, that's about literally everything with TubeBuddy. It's um, a lot similar to YouTube Studio, 
but I recommend having both. Okay, but a key way to get viral is to use a bunch of hashtags in your description. Like, look how many I use. It helps a lot, so maybe take a screenshot and use those. But yeah, that's all. Okay, so we're back on Roblox, and I'm just gonna join Horse Valley. I feel like I sound even worse than I did before. <laughs> My voice sounds really bad right now. But anyways, now that I'm back in Horse Valley, I'm just gonna be telling you some of the small tips that helped me grow my YouTube channel. I'm like, so out of breath. <laughs> okay, ignore that, I'm gonna get to the point now. But yeah, I have a few small tips that helped me grow my YouTube channel, so hopefully it'll help yours too. First of all, when you wanna be successful in the YouTube community, do not search for clout. I joined YouTube just because I thought it would be fun to post some cool memories on YouTube of me playing Horse Valley. I never intended to get how much subscribers I did in the short amount of time, and I'm just so grateful for that. Even if you start out with not many views, keep on going and posting, because at some point you will blow up, trust me. Some people think it's not fair because I've only been on YouTube for a few months, and I've already gained over 100 subs. And some people have been on here for over a year and still don't have as much as me. My advice for you is just keep on going. Trust me, someday it will happen. And to be honest, Small Horse Valley YouTubers are my favorite because they aren't giving up and they're still going, which makes me so happy because someday it'll come true for them and they'll have an amazing time. But I guess what I'm just trying to say is don't give up on YouTube, please. Second, post some videos that people actually want to watch. Try to add a fun spice to your videos so people won't just leave and won't watch them. To be honest, I think some of my videos are pretty boring, but you guys say you love them, so I'm so thankful for that. Also, have a mix of ideas. Use some original ideas, and you can give credits to other people and use theirs. Just don't copy people. That will not get you anywhere. I've had some original ideas, like tricking my brother. And all the Horse Valley TikToks, because when I looked on YouTube, there were none, and you guys love them. But I also post some other videos that other people have posted like ways to make money fast in Horse Valley. A lot of people have done that and have grown from that, so make sure you have a mix of ideas. Posting original ideas will show people on YouTube that you put your time and effort on YouTube. Instead of just posting other videos that a lot of other people have posted, saying that you don't really care that much about your YouTube channel. Sorry to break it to you guys, but you have to put effort in. Like making colorful thumbnails that people will love to click on. And put a little of editing on your videos that'll make it funnier and easier for people to understand. If you want another video of explaining and what apps I use to make my thumbnails, I will gladly do that for you guys. Also, make sure to use trending ideas. It will most likely put you on YouTube's recommended page. Which is what you want if you want to gain a few subscribers. These are just some of the small tips that I've used that really help me grow. And I hope these work for you too. I wish you all luck for starting new YouTube channels. And hopefully someday you'll be just like me and other popular Horse Valley and Horse YouTubers. Don't forget to join my Roblox group. We're almost to 100 members. Hopefully you have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye, guys. Mwah. Ryan Little. <laughs>